My name is Avalon Gross, and I am from Los Angeles, California. I am a shareholder, and it's my fourth year coming to the Woodstock of capitalism. Yeah, yeah. We're glad you came. Thank you so much for everything, Warren and Buff Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. What is the funniest story that you have never told about <laughs> each other? And also, what is the hardest part of your business? I'll answer the second. <laughs> the second part of your question is that we don't have a hard business. We love our business. Every morning when I get up, I feel good. I don't know what's going to happen that day. Maybe nothing will happen, but maybe something will happen. And uh, if nothing else, I'll roll some T-bills or something. But it, 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 uh, I, work, I work with the greatest group of people you can imagine. I mean, we, we, uh, we like each other, and nobody is after anybody else's job or anything of the sort. It's ideal working conditions, and it's five minutes from my home or thereabouts. Uh, so I haven't spent my life commuting. Uh, I just can't imagine having it, having anything better. And, and uh, Charlie's got a lot of funny stories you haven't heard, but we'll see which one he comes up with. <laughs> well, I think Warren and I are naturally so ridiculous that we don't need very many funny stories. <laughs> I, we each do things that are peculiar enough so that we can keep one another amused. Tell him what you told the lawyer when we were buying Hoshul Cone. <laughs> I don't remember you tell him. Well, you remember? <laughs> it was 1966, and, and uh, we were down in Baltimore buying a ba uh, department store, and we needed a lawyer. And we needed a lawyer who was nearby and would do exactly as told. <laughs> and Charlie came up with a, a very good lawyer from Wilmer Cutler's, I believe. And... I don't know whether Charlie remembers the instructions he gave the lawyer or not. Um, but, uh, no, I don't. Oh, well, Charlie told the lawyer, who we'd never met before, and he said, well, he just, he says, treat Warren like, I was 36 at the time, or 35, he said, treat, treat Warren like any other 90-year-old client. <laughs> this guy knew exactly what he meant, and uh, we made the deal in a hurry, and then we... We went to the bank, the First National Bank, and I believe it was a Maryland National Bank, actually. And there was a fellow named Cammy Slack there, wasn't it, Charlie? And we, yeah. we wanted to borrow six million bucks against a $12 million purchase. And Cammy looked at us, uh, at us in, with bewilderment. He says, you want to borrow six million dollars against a little old Hoshul Coon? <laughs> and uh, Charlie and I said something to the effect, well, the Maryland National was our first call, and if they didn't want to do it, we had another bank we'd go to. And anyway, they lent us the money. But, but when he said little old Hoshul Cohen, we, we immediately started thinking, maybe, maybe this isn't the best deal we've ever seen in our lives. And from that point on, we were trying to figure out how to sell it. So we've had, but we, we had as much fun. Uh, Sandy Gottesman was involved with us then, too. And we had as much fun of deals that didn't work in a certain sense as the ones that did work. I mean, it's, it, uh, you know, if you knew you were going to play golf and you were going to hit a hole in one on every sh hole, you just hit the ball and then went in the hole 300 yards away or 400 yards away, you would, nobody would play golf. I mean, part of the fun of a game is the fact that you hit them into the woods and sometimes you hit them, get them out and sometimes you don't. I, so we are in the perfect sort of game and we both enjoy it and we we have a lot of fun together and and we we don't have to do anything we don't really believe in doing i mean we we are not dictated to by by any group uh and so we get to follow our own we like to get to forge our own destiny and and, and in a sense forge the own principles by which we can run the company and that's a Huge luxury in life, and and 
we don't want to be president of any other company in the world or CEO or anything else. We're, we have to conform to certain things that we really don't want to conform to. So.